What's that? Oh, let's wear eyeglasses. Many years of reincarnation. I have never heard such idiocy. Can ChatGPT solve chemistry problems? We are going to look into that in this video. But how we can discover that? The first thing that came into my mind was to ask directly to ChatGPT. So let's see. ChatGPT, can you solve chemistry problems? Good morning. I'd be happy to help you with chemistry problems to the best of my abilities. Please feel free to ask your chemistry related questions and I'll do my best to assist you. So she can. She or he? Or gender fluid? I don't know. Let's ask this one too. Thank you. Are you female or male? I'm just a computer program, so I don't have a gender. You can refer to me as it, or simply as Chad GPT. How can I assist you further with your chemistry questions or any other inquiries you may have? Hmm. So she's in denial. She doesn't want to come out in the open. Okay, who cares? Anyway, I will refer to her using she. I don't know why I think she's female. So guys, ChatGPT said she's capable to solve chemistry problems. It convinced me. I think we can end the video here. But wait a minute. A college student would pass the exam just telling the teacher, yes sir, I know how to do the exam, right? I don't think he would pass. Therefore, why we should make exceptions with AI? Well, ChatGPT under close scrutiny. We will give her some chemistry exercise. Let's start. Let's start with a simple one. Let's ask her to calculate the normality of an already prepared solution. Very simple. Let's see. In just 11 seconds, she provided us an answer. No student could go that far. ChatGPT is truly phenomenal. But let's check what's written. The right answer is 3.20 equivalent per liters and ChatGPT actually gives us this number. It's amazing. So you see, she can solve chemistry problems. However, let's try a second exercise because the first one was too simple. Do this exercise for me. Convert mass percent to molarity. Go. Here she is processing and has already finished in 10 seconds. Really fast. But let's see the answer. The right answer will be 15.7 molar. And ChatGPT gives us 15.7. That's outstanding. She also is capable to solve problems about conversion in chemistry and did it even in record time. Therefore, the mystery is solved. ChatGPT really knows how to manage chemistry related problems. So, why I am at it? I will give her some exercise I have to do for my students so I can get on with my job. Then copy and paste and the work is done. Why not? The downhill road is always the best one. Easier, right? Do this. Calculate the volume to add in order to have this dilution. Let's go. Stopwatch. Seven seconds. Only 7 seconds and the answer is correct too. Unbelievable. She's capable to solve dilution problems as well. How wonderful life is when there is someone working for you. So let's do this conversion from molarity to molarity and mole fraction. Go. Only 11 seconds. How fast she always is. Let's take the result. What's that? Oh, let's wear eyeglasses. Oh yeah, that's what it is. A negative mass. We are in the field of exotic matter now, with violation of all the physics laws. But that's impossible. Let's see where is the mistakes and why. Damn, just when everything was going well. Oh, there you go. She forgot to convert one liter to one milliliter. And so she obtained one grams of solution instead of 1,000. 
and then she came out with a negative. Must in the end of the calculations. Okay, she forgot to do a unit conversion. It's probably just a single oversight. It can happen to everyone, even to AI. We have learned something new today. Come on, let's give her another problem to solve. She looks quite good. Anyway, convert gram per liter to molarity and normality. And don't get distracted this time. Go. Time, eight seconds. Even better than before. But let's see the results. Oh, good. Molarity is correct. And normality? I can't see. Normality is too normal. Where the hell did she get this number from? It should have been 0.3 normal, not 3. Normal. That's not normal. Where did she go wrong? Let's check. Here it is. She did a mistake with equivalence calculations. That's a new one. She invented a new formula for equivalent calculations. 2 plus 1 instead of simply 2. Why is she sum this number together? And where 1 come from? That's completely incorrect. And even more, she forgot to use moles to calculate normality. And she just used these 2 plus 1 random numbers divided by 1 liter to calculate normality. But that's a new formula invented from from scratch. I don't know what to say, guys, I'm baffled. But perhaps it's just a statistical error. Let's give her the last chance. Calculate the volume to add to a 30 mass percent solution in order to have one molar final solution. Go slave, work. What? Oh no, again. A negative volume this time. What's going on with this AI? Have her circuits melted? Where did she go wrong? Let's see. Ah, here it is. Again, she didn't convert milliliter to liter. Again, mistake in unit conversion. Why they didn't put a better converter in it? But what she wrote in the hand? The negative result indicates that no water needs to be added instead. We had to remove approximately 76,986 milliliters of the initial solution to achieve a final concentration of 1 M. This is because the initial solution is more concentrated than the desired final concentration. In many years of reincarnation, I have never heard such idiocy. Even if the initial concentration would have been less concentrated, which is even not the case. Anyway, you can never, I mean, never change the concentration of a solution just by removing some volume from the flask. This is a nonsense. Not even the most foolish of students would dare to go that far with their imagination to justify such a foolish answer. I have had enough. The experiment ends here. Absolutely shameless. There is no more respect for intelligence, not even from artificial intelligence. I really think I cannot use a as a digital slave from my armor work. It's too unreliable. Missing conversion. New formula invented from scratch. Well, now it's truly itching, actually. Should stop that. Results in the realm of exotic matter. And to top it all off, science fiction justification. Therefore, guys, I'm sorry for you too. You can't use ChatGPT to solve your chemistry problems. It's too unreliable at this moment. However, if you would like, you can always turn to our services on operacam.com where you can choose your tutor who can help you directly with a more human touch. Or at least I hope so.